guys, it's Shay. If this is your first time watching my videos or on my channel, welcome, welcome. I am here to provide content to you that hopefully you can learn from, grow. Um, I'm a professional hairstylist and so obviously I'm going to be putting up a lot about hair. But I'm also a mom and a wife and not that I have a crazy, fun, exciting life, but there's always something that you can learn from and just enjoy. Um, so this channel here is to give you any kind of education I can, whether it's for, for hair, how to do your own hair, what the process is like to do somebody else's hair in the salon. Hopefully we can get back to the salon soon because I'm dying to do hair. I haven't chopped my hair off yet, but I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so... Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, if this is not your first time, hey girl, hey, hey, hey. I'm here showing you guys how I got this look and this in today's video um, with just six tape-in hair extensions. I don't, I if you guys follow me on Instagram, I changed my name a million times so you'll probably never find me, but right now it is the stylist Shay on Instagram. Follow me there. You can keep up with everything I'm doing there because I'm way I'm on top of it when it comes to Instagram, YouTube. I'm getting there. I'm trying. So, if you guys had seen my post back a few weeks ago, maybe four or five weeks now, I had gotten my hair extensions done by my husband, Angel. Yeah, for those of you who know who he is, he did it. And if you guys seen the live, then you were probably busting out laughing just like I was. But anyways, it didn't come out too bad for his first time. And it was really long, 22 inches of tape and hair extensions. And I took them out two days ago. Felt so good to wash my hair. But I lack length in the front. I just used six tape and extensions. Actually, 12, but you sandwich them so they count as six. Right? So I did two close up here, one here, and one here. And I got this look. And... I'm excited because it just gives me the love that I want. Like, if my hair can grow this long, just this long, this isn't even that long, I will be so happy. That's it. Don't ask me for nothing because I'm going to be loving my hair all the time. In the meantime, I'm going to be putting my tape in extensions to achieve this look. And if you also have this problem where your hair is growing really slow in the front and very long in the back or very fast, here's a quick way to... Um, get some length in the front while lasting for weeks. You know, I'm not going to have to take it out, go to sleep. I can wash my hair with this. I can tone it. And yeah, so if you're interested in watching how I got this look and how I trimmed it to match the back, just keep on watching. <laughs> I'm going to be talking about how I use just six tape-in hair extensions to achieve a beautiful lob today. Um, right now, what I'm going to be doing is sectioning out my hair, just the front. You see how it kind of um, angles down in the front. It's shorter, it goes down to longer. I don't necessarily want that. My hair just takes forever to grow. So I am going to be filling it in with these tape-in extensions. I like using the tape and extensions because they last me longer. So I part it right behind the ear. I'm going to tie away the back so it doesn't get in the way. Actually, I initially wanted to fill up the whole front, but I don't have that much hair. So I decided to just go with as little as possible. So the section size is about two fingers. That's the size that I usually go with with my hair type because it's finer. Um, I honestly could probably go a little bit more than that, but so yeah, this was me um, look, testing out the size of the section I just did, peeling the tape away, and just pressing and applying it as tight as I can to the bottom so that it can catch some hairs down below. Once you lift it up, you want to clean that section up with a comb. Took another piece, took the tape off, and I'm applying it the same direction the hair is going, so I applied it up. Smush, smush, smush. 
gonna smush it all down make sure that it is nice and tight there because you don't want that to fall out these are really easy to take out too. There's the solution, a liquid that you can spray on, and it just comes right off. It doesn't pull your hair off or anything. These will last me for about four or five weeks before I am probably wanting to take it out. They can go longer. I'm just a nut, and I love to change my hair all the time. So now I decided to skip that whole space in between from this section on my ear all the way to the top because I've realized that it blended already so nicely and what's the point of filling it all up if you don't have to so I went closer up to the top so that I can cover that angle that I am so dying for to grow out <laughs> cover it up you want to press it down and as you pull it up a little hairs will fall will um, go up with that piece of tape those are the ones you want to keep up. You can also add a little bit more if you want to create um, less tension, which is always good, especially on finer hair. You squish it down. I sometimes will go over the tape section with a flat iron to melt or bond the two adhesives together so that it'll last a little bit longer. Now I go super close to my part. The reason being is because I am not trying to get fullness I am just trying to hide layers that were added to the front of my hair around my face. So I'm going close up because I always part it in the middle when I have this type of style, which is like a longer lob or a lob, a longer lob, longer bob. Um, so I go as close as I can to my part without it being visible so that I don't have to worry about filling the section up with more tape, with more tape and extensions. It was super hard for me to do this because, one, I didn't have a mirror. I was using my computer's webcam to see what I was doing. And two, <laughs> I was burning hot. Oh my goodness. It is so hot up in this attic. Smush, smush, smush. And there you go. So that was a total of six sing uh, single-sided tape and extensions sandwiched together. Um, which is essentially just three. So just three on that side and look at the big difference it made. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I was so sweating. Press, put a lot of pressure on there sometimes if you don't push it down too hard it won't lift anything up and you really want to grab what it is already what hair is already attached to it and just clean up the line it is so important to clean up the line or the section that you do because say for example I didn't do that and I left it all riggedy and zigzaggy there most of those hairs are going to pull out as my hair starts to grow. It's just going to have a lot of tension on it. It's just not going to be neat. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow, I don't even need to fill it up anymore. <laughs> so I'm just feeling to see exactly where I put them so I know I get the right spacing in between them. that away those clips are awesome those are alligator clips alligator clips are great when you are trying to hold a lot of hair they bend super nicely they hold a lot of hair i'm telling you guys i would love to have this lob naturally i just can't get my hair to grow any faster than it is in the front and I also would snip and snip and clean up my ends and I just I just don't know when to stop so this is what I do in the meantime as it grows out I will put extensions in the front and have the look I always crave sandwich that There you go. 
And honestly, if I was doing this on a client, I would not go so close to the front or to the face because if they wanted to pull their hair back, I want them to not be, you know, I don't, you don't want to see the tape, the tape and extension popping out. I wouldn't do it. I'm doing it on mines because I'm very plain Jane. And once I do a style, I leave it. I don't put my hair up. And if I do put it up, it's to go to bed. And my husband is used to me with these popping out all over the place always. So, <laughs> oh man, not that he likes it or loves it, but he tolerates it. I'm having a hard time part parting this section here, huh? There we go. I want to clean that up. You see that zigzag there, right? That's what you don't want. So that is where you're going to get a lot of tension. Hairs are going to fall out. And that's not good. You also don't want to take a huge section either. If it's too thick in between the two hair extensions, it's not going to stick. And it's also going to be very... um loose eventually when you wash your hair or you brush it they will start to fall out and that is probably because of the application so you don't want to put too much hair in between so now i'm just going to go ahead and cut the hair to match my hair in the back i obviously cannot cut the back of my hair which i drastically need um but what i'm going to do is just connect it so again if you guys didn't remember I have no mirror here. I'm doing this all based off of looking at my webcam on my computer on my laptop. But I'm grabbing the hair and I'm pulling it back a little bit. The reason being, when you pull your hair back towards towards the back of your head um, and you cut, when you release that hair, it's going to be a little bit longer in the front and a, and a little bit shorter in the back. I'm angling my finger to make sure that I don't go straight across because I wanted that longer look in the front there. You can take the hair and you want to be really careful. I'm just doing it a tiny bit um, and point cut the ends because it's not going to be perfect, especially doing it on yourself. But this will help kind of blend it in and not make the line so noticeable, noticeable and so blunt. It'll look more natural. I'm going to pull these two pieces front so I can make sure that when I'm finished with the haircut, they meet and they match. I'm going to pull that towards the back. As you pull it back, you, you over direct. So you want to bring it towards the back of your head so that when you cut it, you will create a longer effect in the front and a shorter in the back. So I cut that side a little bit shorter and I don't think I did it because I uh, by accident. I think that side of my hair is already a tiny bit shorter and because I was following the back of my head the hair that I actually that's actually mine <laughs> I it, it ended up being a little shorter so I had to go back on this side and I'm just going to trim it again so that it is not longer than the other side. It looks a little long anyways. I, I If I could go shorter I would. I wanted to without you know making it look too obvious. There you go. It's so simple and it's so um, clean, you know? I love lops because they're just very sleek and you can do some beautiful waves with them. And it's just really stylish. I need to flat iron it and smooth it out a little bit, put some product in it for it to be a little bit more sleeker and shinier. Here, I'm just pulling the comb down. So what you do, you'll just put the hair in the comb and you can use the shears to press it in to the comb, to press your hair into the comb and slide it down so that you can make sure you are staying in line with everything else. 
I'm just making sure that side's a little bit more even. There we go. That is all styled up and smoothed out. I love it. It is great. I love this color. I seriously need a trim on the back, but that's another day and another story. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. Um, I am here to provide all the education and knowledge that I possibly can. I am loving this look. I hope you guys have a great day, and please subscribe for more videos similar to this one. And like, and share the love. Bye!